Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, discussion-based lecture um, using Wimba Classroom. So what I'm going to do is go into my learning modules and module, oh, wait, let me stop. I'm not in build and teach view, so I'm going to have to switch to teach view. Go into learning modules and module one. Here's my lesson one um, Wimba Classroom I'm using. And this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to change some of the settings here to facilitate a discussion inside Wimba Classroom. So what we're going to do is go into Room Settings. We'll give it a moment to load here. And this time we're going to select the bottom one. So presentation tools are available to both students and teachers. And we'll select Save. Now I can go ahead and enter this room. I'm just moving the window here so we can see everything. All right, and now that we're here, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to select options and lock talk so that everything I say is going to be um, heard by everybody in the room. So normally I would have students down here and other students can also participate by clicking on the talk button. Now you wouldn't want your students to do lock talk, only you. And uh, this way you can override a student if they begin talking. So. The other thing I can do is I can actually get rid of their access or add access. So if I don't want them to have the presenting tools anymore, I can actually change that. I can also get rid of their speaking abilities by clicking on this button here, or their ability to use the web camera here, or the ability to use the text chat here. So now that I've kind of go and <coughs> gone over some of the access students will have, let me show you some of the other things. Um, right now I'm talking, and students would be able to hear me in this discussion. So I could ask a question, and they could respond. Um, now, if they can't hear, the other thing that you can do is you can also type in questions using this. And this works like a chat room. So if I type in hello and can you hear me, students can report back if they hear my voice or not. So if they're having technical difficulties, you can sort it out. That's typically something you'd want to do at the beginning. Um, the other thing I can do with this discussion-based uh, chat is I can actually turn on my web camera. And you'll, you'll be able to see me a little bit here recording this. So now that that's on, that's me, um, we can do this with the rest of your students as well. So um, one of these things that's really good with doing these discussion-based things is you can actually have your office hours with the student and you'll be able to look at them and they'll be able to see you and you can see them and you can go back and forth. So something you may want to consider through this hybrid academy is maybe even setting something up for office hours where you can uh, actually set up time where you're going to be, let's say, online between 2 and 3. And if students have any questions, they can meet you online. And this will prevent you from having to come on campus to meet students. Um, just an idea for using this technique. I'm going to go ahead and turn myself off now. It's a little unnerving when I'm trying to record this stuff. So uh, we'll turn that off. We'll go ahead and close that out. So, But you can do the same thing with your students. Um, the other thing is, is if you ever want to record this for future reference, you can also do the archives. So let me close this out. We can also do the archives. So if you click the archive button, you can um, you can record everything that's being said. So this might also be good if you wanted to record the uh, interactions between you and the student as well. Okay, so this kind of concludes the um, the going back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and stop this archive here, and it will save. But this kind of concludes the uh, presentation, the discussion-based. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It keeps interrupting me here. That that kind of completes the uh, discussion method using Wimbo Classroom.